But we can't possibly have a garden party with a man dead just outside the front gate, Laura exclaimed to Josie, who thought Laura was being absurd. When their mother heard, she agreed, telling Laura, people like that don't expect sacrifices from us. She gave Laura a gorgeous hat to distract her, and when Laura saw how lovely she looked, she decided to put the matter off until later. The party was a great success, but after the guests left, Mr. Scott's death came up again. Though Mrs. Sheridan was annoyed at first, she then had a grand idea. They could send the leftover food to his family instead of letting it go to waste. She selected Laura to deliver the basket of food. When Laura arrived at their poor neighbor's home, she was invited inside. Mrs. Scott's sister led Laura, against her will, to where the body lay. Upon seeing Mr. Scott's face, Laura noticed how peaceful and content he looked, as if in death he had made peace with the world. On her way home, she ran into her brother Laurie, who had come to find her. Isn't life, isn't life, she stuttered. She couldn't find the words, but he understood her. Isn't it, darling, he replied.